Motown. The studio that invented a whole genre and shaped the sound of an entire decade. If you want to sound like you're playing Motown, here's the fill and the groove you need to know. So let's start with the groove. What we've got is an eighth note groove, so one and two and three and four and in the hi-hat. On the snare drum, you're going to be playing the downbeat or the pulse, basically the number. One, two, three, four. Now the thing that gives this groove a lot of life is the bass drum pattern. So we're going to start with a complicated bit first. We're going to put bass drums on the and of three and the and of four while playing all the rest of it. So one, two, three and four and and get comfortable with that. One, two, three and four and. If you're confused, remember this bass drum is going to fall on the hi-hats that are in between your snare drums. And you can get away with this perfectly fine. But to really give it that drive that you want, you're going to want to put a bass drum on one and two as well. Which means when you get to the end of the bar, you're going to have two bass drums next to each other. Hopefully that makes sense. One, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one. With the snare drum. So a variation you can do on this is you can either choose to put a bass drum on beat three or not. I personally do quite frequently just because it adds more intensity. If you can't already hear how many songs use this groove, then you are about to hear them everywhere. Now that you've got the groove down, it wouldn't be complete without the Motown feel. It's so recognisable. But it's also a little bit complicated. What we're doing here is a six stroke roll. And if you've never done this before, I have done a video on it. Check that out if you want to. But fundamentally, a six stroke roll is a six tuplet. So we're talking about triplets. And it goes right, left, left, right, right, left. What you might notice here is you've got a single stroke, two sets of doubles, and another single stroke. You're going to want to accent these two outside single strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. After that, you're going to put two rights, and it's going to sound like this. Right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 right. So the placement, first right goes on the high tom, and the rest of the sixth tuplet is on the snare drum. And then you're going to hit that right really loud on the snare drum, and then that other right on the floor tom. Put it together. And there you have it, you can create variations if you want to, but that is the most basic version of that fill. Mm, it feels so good to play. So, now combine your groove and your fill, and there you have it. If you want more lessons like this, then I have a free ebook. I have lots and lots of videos. I'm basically everywhere at this point, so it's hard not to find me. So either feel free to check out more videos or download the free ebook, The New Drummer's Toolkit, which comes with every page having a video lesson with it, especially suited to brand new drummers. So if that's up your alley, go and check it out. If not, have a great day anyway. Big love.